we have a young person, uh, it could be either a man or a woman, and they're living a very contented life. Everything's going along smoothly. And then something happens where they're yanked out of that contented life, and they're faced with a call to adventure and to something totally outside their experience. And at first, they don't want to go. We'll call this uh, refusing to go on the adventure. But then something happens which forces them to go. And sometimes there's encouragement from an older or a wiser source. Um, and eventually the patient goes, or the, the, our, our hero uh, person goes, and they encounter conflict, and they encounter ordeals. And eventually, through this adventure, they confront a villain. They may not vanquish the villain, but at least they confront them. And as a result of that confrontation in our story, they learn something special. They have a prize, they have a treasure, which they then take back and they're allowed to go home. So they resume their normal life, but it's not the same as it was before. Something has changed. They've learned something. They've grown by that experience. So that's the basic outline of the story without names or context. Uh, does anyone know what story this is? Sorry? Possibly, yes. Yes, the, the, the possible, the answer was, that the, uh, the suggestion was Lord of the Rings, which is a very good answer. The hero's journey. The hero's journey. Let's come back to this in a minute. Let's not talk about our patient, our tinnitus patient. They've been living a contented life. Suddenly, they're yanked to a situation where um, they're, they're faced with an ailment that they can't deal with. Um, there's no quick cure, and what remedies are offered um, don't seem to solve the problem. This is a psychologically dislocating experience. And as a result, um, they tend to just throw themselves at the, at the uh, health care provider saying, cure me, which after all is the American way of health care, right? We uh, generally go to a doctor so that he can quickly diagnose us and quickly give us a treatment. And usually that treatment's in the form of a pill. So you take the pill and you are better and life goes on. But in this case, our tinnitus patient does not have that option. So how do you get over that hump? And I'm just sharing things I've learned from others in support groups and, and others. Um, of course, the healthcare professional does his job, um, uh, or her job. Uh, that involves um, uh, validating the patient experience, telling them they're not going crazy. That helps. Educating them on the nature of the condition of tinnitus or hyperacusis, uh, and primarily that it doesn't by itself pose any serious threat. There's no life-threatening condition to it. Um, and then offering treatments. That's what the professional can do. That's what you do. Now, I'm a lawyer in my day job when I'm not serving as chair of the ATA. So I think in terms of contracts, and an effect I've seen to be helpful is to make a contract with the patient, a compact, where you say, those are the things which I'm doing as your health care provider, but I need something from you. As you're part of the deal, you need to be persistent in the protocols I give you. You just can't give up. They don't seem to work right away. You have to have an expectation of improvement. Believe me when I tell you that most people get better over time. And thirdly, you have to look to the future, not to the past. Have any of you seen the kind of thinking which could be described as, if only, if only I hadn't listened to that loud music, if only that person hadn't shot that gun next to my ear, I would have been better. And the patient will return in this endless loop to the if only. That's, that's looking to the past. So you have to direct them to the future. And the future is, how I can contend with tinnitus and how I can get on with the normal activities of my life with tinnitus, my dreams with tinnitus. Um, and that brings us back to the story. As the young lady there properly identified it, the story, which I told you, is was called The Hero's Journey. It was described by a professor of mythology, Joseph Campbell, who was amazed when he found the same story appearing in civilization after civilization, in culture after culture of a hero who goes on this journey, at first unwillingly, and then soon he's wrapped up in it, and then he vanquishes uh, a villain and comes back with the prize. In our case, the hero can be the patient. And 
the ordeals or the treatment protocols he has to uh, get through and the difficulty of dealing with tinnitus, the villain is not just the tinnitus itself, but the suffering that comes with tinnitus. And when you show him how he can vanquish that, how he can supersede that, then maybe we can start that patient on his or her own heroic journey. So that concludes my remarks, Dr. Tarr.